Finally, Nuela Njubibo marries again. Congratulations to Nuela Njubibo, but then again, is the recycling for me? I don't know why Nuela Njubibo marriages and husband choice of husbands, you know, are surrounded with um, controversies. From being a side chick to popular Nollywood director Tichi De Chikere, to migrating herself to be his second wife, which is daughter to Tichi De Chikere and his beautiful wife Sophia Chikere divorced after much buzzbuzz that happened in their marriage, which, according to some bloggers, alleged that. Nuela Njibi was the cause of their problems in their marriage. And now this one again, another controversy surrounding this her new just concluded marriage yesterday. Hmm. I beg her head, I beg, let's say may she go wash them because the bus was happening right now, eh? Is that Nuela Njibi got married to Uche Obodo's ex and also Iniedo's ex. Also, what that is being said about this her new man. It's not a good one at all. According to popular blogger Kutu Juice, who made a shocking revelation about this current Nuela Njubibo's husband, how she met him and the rest of it all, said, So Nuela's current husband, where she married yesterday, met Uche Obodo through Uche Elendo, who was then dating Carlos Kors. Fast forward, Carlos sent his people back in Nigeria to pay Uche Obodo's bride price and was due to come to Nigeria for their white wedding. Mind you, Uche Elendu hooked Uche Obodo with Carlos when Carlos' wife then was then pregnant and Carlos had come to Nigeria from Holland for holidays. Uche Obodo frustrated the woman with the help of Uche Obodo. The woman gave me an instant where Uche Obodo will call her and curse her when she was about eight months pregnant. Fast forward after the bread prize, Carlos went to prison for eight months in Holland for, for um, trafficking offense. Saba and Konji did not allow Uche Obodo to remain a faithful bride while Carlos was in prison. So on his release, annulled the marriage between himself and Uche Obodo tra traditionally indebted Ini for a while. <laughs> now, why Tichidi was abusing Nuela? Nuela started talking to famous Yahoo guy known as Michael Diangoli, who is also another Niger celeb bowler. The man was able to help Nuela leave Yeye's -ye husband teach it his house while he, he was away. He opened a shop for her at Lakey, which was closed down when Michael got into trouble with Interpol last year. Now, why Nuela and Michael's love was thick? Michael paid for a luxury holiday for Nuela to go to Europe. She met Carlos again on that trip and catching up as my friend's ex, they started dating. She at that time, it became Michael and Carlos. Later, Michael was arrested by Interpol and Nuela and Carlos became even closer. On Nuela's last trip to Holland, Carlos and his gang of traffickers were arrested when they went to Suriname. Nuela was able to help Carlos keep most of his money with her. And bracket, we not go deep into that for Nuela's safety. <laughs> but Carlos had proposed to Nuela before then as he knew they had for Carlos to propose marriage or have baby mama. Carlos has lots of baby mamas in Belgium and Holland. He does not physically abuse women but emotional abuse and womanizing is a second trade after trafficking um hopefully with noella he might change so for now we wish noella the best and a happy married life Wahal. hell is the recycling for me is it because of the nature of their job i don't know why are they dating each other's exes i don't get it too or is it that these men date them at the same time without them knowing? You know, this um, low-key boyfriend, low-key relationship. I don't want my relationship to be out in the public. You know, maybe that is what is contributing to all this buhaha, this mess, eh? Because it's becoming irritating, I won't lie. And guys, this time around, from this video, I guess they did their court wedding. All the best. I wish her all the best. I wish her the sweetness and the happy married life. Hopefully, this one is not going to turn out like um, her own encounter with 
did she did take care which according to her said it was a messy and i think she didn't go out with anything she was left with nothing at long run so guys kutu just backed up her claim with um this picture and she said hey yeah so now noelas bobo that's oga a lot by handcuff so ha that's the yellow guy at the left hand side with that being said eh, i thought that um footballer um up or something like that was Uche Obodo's first husband. Um, Kutuju said Carlos was her first husband before she even had a child. Okay, guys, this Noel and Jubibo's correct husband here is her first husband before the Apo Auto and ex footballer agent that was rumored to be her husband before the controversy and their messy fight surfaced online. Apparently, this Uche Obodo's husband, this current, this her current husband now, is her third husband. That's her third marriage. What is her life? Her happiness matters. Her happiness comes first. For people that will come and be judging her now, allow God to do the judge. Oh. And these are how people reacted. This person said. This one no fit last three business working days. The way I they see them, but I wish them all the best. May they prove me wrong. He say, white other person said, I'm not sure this Imedo deserves this my respect to her. This one said, this pe- these public figures keep recycling bullas. Ike Guru, she, she saw Shege in her previous marriage. Hope she doesn't see Shege Banza this time around this other person family pod said so uche called his lover man pregnant wife and insulted her but she would set ring lights and begin to cry when netizens drop a comment on a blogger's page ordinary comments they never called her one-on-one oh kama i see what you're doing she should pray that children of amageddon should not see this post to as for Uche Lendo, the day I feared that girl was when Gadoni of BBN, Messieke, set was evicted. The way she and her group of friends were rejoicing made me realize that people are deep. So much pain from a person that went to Bible school. Guys, with that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. Please do give this video a massive, massive thumbs up. And in case you're watching for the first time, this is Ladly Woman on Court. Thank you for tuning in. Please do me that favor by subscribing to my YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos on this channel. We react, we analyze, we give trending gist celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my channel subscribers, of course, you all know that this video can never be complete without me appreciating you all. Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. Bye bye for now. As I'm signing out for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. Okay, Messiano.